if I could do what now? Go ahead and turn stealth on for training. Okay. Um, because it increases the stab damage, right? Well, that and it'll um, it'll things will be um, things will be sleeping sometimes when you come up to them, and uh, nice. it could just be it could just be like a fun thing to do, you know. By the way, Hexman, yeah. uh, welcome to the Twitch. He says uh, Hexman says yes. File is the old Roman ph for v spelling. They mean the same. Uh, they just came through two different language bases. File came through Roman, and vile came from the Greek. That makes sense. That's a cool little piece nice. of information. Thank you. Sweet. I love the I love the D, the DCSS community. From what I've experienced of it, I mean, it's a bunch of nerds. People, there's there's, <laughs> there's all stripes, so give or take. But you know what's cool is yeah, they they are kind of a bunch of nerds. I mean, I mean that, that in I mean that in the most loving way possible. But I mean, I'm a nerd. Yeah. Well. Uh, a bunch of people who enjoy trivia because how yeah. could you not if you're into a game like this? Like it's the it's percentage kind of um, trivia centric game. The percentage of people that were on a quiz bowl team in high school is probably pretty high in this community. I was not. I feel left out now. Yeah, I'm gonna um, shove you into a locker. So <laughs> before Malcolm gets around to bullying me, I'm gonna actually like go ahead and go to vaults at this point because I think we're done here. Yeah. All right. Um, and this is where I f find meat anyway, so. Sure. The fact that I'm rotting is made all up. Wow, the detection thing, right? This is yeah. just, um, so auto-exploring becomes much harder. It does, but it's, it's a very useful thing to have nonetheless. All right, so I'm hungry, so I'm just going to eat a ration while this guy walks at me real quick. Um... Don't feel the need for heroism yet. Could potentially kite this guy back to the door. It's you not can, real important. Honestly, like with the the way this character is right now, you could probably O tab a good a good bit, play a little bit faster if you wanted to. Um, okay. Because I don't. There's really not much in here that can surprise you, especially if you're still using my RC. Okay. Now here's a problem. Let's let's XV this dude. Um. Two yep. percent for confused. So pop that's on. Bad, right? Pop on MR plus. It's for paralyzed potentially. Okay, MR plus. Yeah, over the R core. Yeah, okay, we don't have a. Okay, yeah, 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 I forgot to do that. I should have actually done that before you even reminded me. That's fine. Okay, so this guy now, zero percent chance. Why don't we lamp through these dudes? Um, if it's available. That's hey, not. Wait, it's not available. Do you let's, want to file floods through them? No, nah, that won't go through them. Let's uh, let's just heroism and, and go to work. You could even finesse, but I wouldn't bother because we're we're actually killing our piety a bit. And he's more likely to give me god gifts when I have higher piety, if I recall correctly. Yep. So let's try not to finesse for a while, if 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 we can. Try That's to fine. eat some corpses, by the way, because you are rotted. Whoa, hey, I want you to do something for me. Don't don't kill this dude. Um, and I'll I'll explain to you why we're doing this later. Pull this dude upwards for a little while. Like try to pull him out of the vaults. Okay, try to pull him out of the vaults. So like. Okay, this is this is like, okay. Just wait around for him to summon what he's summoning. Because it's easier to deal with them in the hallway than... Not exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing later. Um, kill everything but him. This is this is like... Think of this as an Easter egg. Um, okay. And uh, it's going to be... There's going to be a big payoff, and the payoff is not going to be today. Uh, it's going to be probably the next time, I, uh, next time we do this. Okay. Kill the wizards first, I think. Yeah. The Vampire Knight is extremely dangerous, but not for you, uh, because your MR is high enough. Gotcha. You could probably eat some corpses um, right next to him if you want to. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, kill the Death Mage first. The, um, the Ancient Champion is a bit of a problem so we should probably uh finesse we should probably net him actually okay how okay the underlying reasoning that goes into what are the things you think about when you think is this a good net target like so i can i can identify if something's threatening 
um, for the most part. How do I tell, like, okay, this is a relatively threatening thing. Like, for instance, this thing is just yellow, so I know it's more threatening than trash, I generally. Just, I just want to kill him quickly, because you can do, like, 150 damage to us with two iron shots. Um, and but that... how do I know he's a good target for a net? Well, he's not large, so we know that um, we can net him. Um, and uh, he's mm-hmm. like a he's like a caster type. Um, just just swing on him. Um, he's like he's like a caster type. Um, so we we know we can kill him reasonably quickly. Um, he doesn't have that much in the way of hit points, I don't think. And the net just lets us do that. Um, okay, we're we're dragging him out of the vaults. Okay, I was just uh, trying to eat some. Eat some bodies. Oh yeah, I forgot I had you do that. It's okay. We'll we'll come back for that in a sec. Oh, uh, he's he's summoning again. All right, kill one of the yellow guys, but not both. We're trying to make kill a friend. One. We're trying to make a friend here. He's going to be our pal. He's going to be our friend okay. way later in the game. And I'll, again, I I don't want to explain it just yet. It'll ruin the meme. But uh, trust me that the payoff is going to be beautiful. I do. If I didn't. Wouldn't be here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, boy. Asterion, what's up? That's okay. Let's let's uh, finesse. We can All kill right. this stuff. We're fine. Just... Kill the mage. Mm-hmm. Kill Asterion himself. What does huh. he do? Can I... you mind if I XP him real quick? Take your time. Creator Servant of Maw Club, Major Destruction. Major Destruction can potentially do some damage, right? Like, Could be LCS, but probably not. I'd be more concerned about him summoning like a, I don't know, like a like a Shadow Fiend or something to torment you. You can probably just swing on him. You can probably just kill him, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally going to uh, continue basically O-tabbing stuff kind of slowly. Like... I will never O-tab the way that Daryl does through the vaults, not until I've played a thousand million more times. Yeah. Um, Daryl is but, what, waifu gate, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's played... He, he throws... Uh, he'll just... He'll throw runs. There's a middle ground there. You can play super, super fast if you, if you set up a certain... Uh, if you just set things up in a certain way. Okay, so we pulled him out. Right, I now, want you to, we um, have to like lock him behind a door or something. I want you to paralyze him. Okay, and then I can go back down. Yeah. You want me to? You sh- sure you don't want me to use an enslavement? And just send him behind a door. Either either way is fine. Well, because I have more enslavements was my thinking. I don't care which one you use. Um, because now I can be like. T, retreat, and just tell him to go here, right? And then I wait a turn, and then I go shut this door. How do I, I do mean, that, Control-C? Yeah, but it's Shift-C, actually. But he, I'm pretty sure he'll just open it again. Maybe not. I mean, just go down. It's fine. All right, we're going to forget okay. we did that. And don't don't worry about that for now. Um, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Are you kidding me? Don't ask questions about my friend. My, my friend, no, we put him in the closet. I thought I thought you understood. <laughs> oh no, I, I know I'm trolling you is what I'm doing. No, oh, there's shit. there's a good reason. I'll explain later. Uh, the payoff right, will be I'm well gonna, worth it. I'm gonna try to get around to O tabbing things a bit. Yep. To try to make this slightly less. Um, I can fight red dragons, right? I don't yep. care. You have RF plus um, still, right? Even with that armor on. I believe so. Yeah. Yep, you're good. I appreciate the sanity checks, though. Because mm-hmm. that's the sort of thing where I want to go, can I fight a red dragon right now? And then I want to know which questions to ask myself. Well, the question to ask yourself is, do I have RF plus? And the reason for that is um, fire dragons... Um, let me pull up the most modern version of the game. Uh, I think it's 75. It's 3d24 damage, so almost 75 damage possible. With RF plus, it halves that, so you really don't want to be taking seventy-five damage, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you can avoid it, or and what's the first pip is like twenty-five percent reduction. Fifty percent reduction. That's crazy. The first Why pip is, is I don't know, and but then the, the second is goes up to sixty-six or seventy-five. I don't actually know. Uh, it's more, but not as much more. Like it's diminishing returns. So um, for sure, sort of. Okay. I don't think there's anything in this vault I care about at all, so I can just go down. 
Yep. <sighs> All right. Uh, hey, I found a bunch of ice blast. It's useful. That makes me really happy. Nice. Um, don't care about these guys. I think you don't want me to have any more Convoker pets, right? No, we only need the one. Okay. Cyclops first. I'm From now on, we should kill the Convokers first, because um, we actually don't want them summoning things. Okay. But Malcolm said... <laughs> just no, we, we don't need more than one friend. Oh. Friends, friends are overrated, you just need one. Orb Spider <laughs> is kind of silly. Uh, we could paralyze him or something. By the way... Um, after we finish this fight, I think Asterion might have had a large shield. You might want to control F for that and see see if it's something valuable. Okay. Um, control F for the shield. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see a large shield. Oh, no, no, there it is. It's plus zero large shield. No, that's there's one plus zero large shield of nothing in never mind. Snake, and that's it. Yeah, never mind. So. Unfortunate. I didn't get the I didn't get the RNG basically, right? So yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. You've got a perfectly serviceable large shield right now. I never get the RNG, dude. When you're running with Daryl, you will get all of the RNG. When you're running with yeah, me, yeah, brute of shielding is available. That's gonna be nice. That's true. Do we want to go get that like after this fight, basically, or? No. For. no, no, um, I'm probably not going to have you wear that until you're ready to swap off of uh, Oka, assuming that you'd like to swap off of Oka. I'm going to put, fin this is a situation where I would put Finesse on because Orc Warlords freak me out, but I probably don't need to at this point, just, I'm guessing, and I, I just want to get your feedback. I would take a step back and then lamp this stuff personally. Oh, okay. Um... The Mighted Warlord can do a good bit of damage, but you could you could take a step back even. Because he can he can bard at you. I, I kind of wanted him to be in the flame. Unfortunately, he didn't get there. Why don't you... Um, do you have any emulation? I do. I have a bunch. Why don't you... I mean, if, if, if we're just swimming in emulation, go ahead and use one. It'll, it'll resolve this without having to put any thought into it, really. Okay. Uh, read it. Yes. Really read the scroll of emulation? Yes, that's what I said. Okay. Swing so on now the. I just fight. Yeah, there you go. And then, like. And do I step out of this? Yeah. And just kind of wait for him wait, to. Or wait, wait. Do I step one more time down because he's got a bardish? Wait one turn. Okay. Probably keep waiting. I, I want. Hmm. Take a step to the right. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Um, why don't you ice blast this stuff? All right. You got it. Fox we'll Fox is asking if this is a 15 rune run, and I suppose that would be up to Wes here. Um, I don't. I just. I feel like it's abusive to Malcolm at the speed at which I. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. The game I'm fine either way. Shanghai him for a 15 rune run, but I do rather enjoy these. They can be paced out, however, over however long a period of time, sure. provided that they're not painful to you. I'm, whatever. I'm enjoying myself. It's cool. Um, all right, so anyway, we were going to swing at this guy, I think, at this point. Uh, no, nah, do why don't we, we ice, let's, use ice blast? Let's ice blast the knight. I mean, why not? We have so much ice blast. There you go. Um, Step out of the clouds, I'm sure. Yeah. Do I go to the meat and eat the meat? Yeah. Now you can step up and kill the, the warrior. Boy, he does a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, let's just walk over to the meat and eat it. Not, not the fire meat. Well, I mean, it, <laughs> it's kind of roasting sure for not you. The fire meat. Well, we have RF plus. It doesn't matter that much, but. Um. Well, I I tried not to go toward the meat. I was actually like the toward the meat, and I was like, it must. He must mean the nearest meat, right? No. Nah. At which point. I was like, well, I'll just wait for these clouds of flame to disperse. So, <laughs> um, it's amazing. It's amazing how um, actually recondite a lot of this 
game knowledge is because intellectually I'm no slouch, but like there's obviously like just stuff about the game that it's not necessarily intuitive and I'll just do stuff that on the surface of it probably doesn't seem completely dumb, but in the context of knowing what the fuck you're doing in DCSS seems completely brainless to do. I zoned out for like a good 30 seconds there. I swear I wasn't ignoring you, but um, <laughs> some people popped up in the uh, spectator thing in the actual game and I was like directing them towards the uh, Twitch. So if you could repeat like the first half of that sentence, that would be cool. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's just, it's, uh, it's funny how like you can get a reasonably intelligent human trying to make informed decisions. Sure. But because the game is not always necessarily opaque intuitive it's it's very opaque is what you're saying opaque yeah it can be for sure no you got it right with opaque. <laughs> no I'm, I'm messing with you i know <laughs> it's... but yeah it's, um... an, it's an art word yeah i've got it there you go um yeah i think we're just uh so this demonologist and sorcerer do i care i probably should have rested at the very least sun demon this is the, i'm not um... afraid this is the fun pack. This is the fun pack of dudes that you shafted into. Um, I'm guessing that lamp is not available again yet. Uh, no. That's heroism. Oh, we already have it. Let's just swing. Swing. No yeah. finesse. No, no finesse. This is really obnoxious, though. You know, could you control F for a lightning rod by any chance as one spawned? Because I would really. Yeah, there's a lightning rod. It's Bro, there the, uh... if we have the money for that, let's get that as soon as this fight's over. Because this is like the perfect scenario to be using a lightning rod in. I've been saving for my brooch. No, you're, you'll, you'll, I promise you'll have enough gold for the brooch. Right, as you're gonna soon get... as this is over, you said, so I'm just still swinging at these guys. Mm. I'm telling you what, this Annihilator Sun Demon has got me sweating. The Sun, the sun Demon is actually a minor demon. He's not that hard. Um... Okay. You, you you may have him confused with a different kind of demon. They're quite difficult in the early game, but for this character, it's a pushover. I would they go ahead a lot and like uh, the Arab of fires, don't they? Yeah, but they're not. Um, go ahead and finesse, and we can we'll, with a little bit of luck, we'll we'll be okay here. Um, you reached level twenty three. Nice. Someday I'll put a point of int in. <laughs> yeah. Um, do I take a step toward this demonologist and try to kill him so that I get you rid do. of these summons? Yeah, you do. Okay. I mean, again, I'm very much not happy about fighting all these elves at the same time, but... Okay, so now we take a step uh, to the Annihilator. Go ahead and teleport. Read a teleport preemptively. Because he can just uh, LCS me plus the... Let me get this right. The Preserver has probably Iron Shot, right? No. No, it, okay. I'm worried about the Sorcerers in the back. If if they get good positioning on you, you're looking at like hundreds of damage. You could ice, yeah. Uh, yeah doesn't he? Like doesn't he says you could ice blast, and that's actually a pretty good move. Um, the super super safe op option is to teleport and then start ice blasting. Um, but you have enough evocations. I, I actually forgot that you had ice blast available. Ice blast. Yeah, you can you can pretty much kill this stuff. We want to, we want to try for once in my life. Are you ready for the worst RNG shit show <laughs> you've ever seen? It can't screw you that badly. These guys don't have that much of the way of hit points. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. All no, right, we, we, we got, go. we, we, we look at what we did. Look at what we did. That's pretty rad. We, uh, actually, we actually bounced an LCS into the Annihilator's face and he, uh, died. Wait, we did what? <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty funny. I didn't know you could do that with reflection. I didn't know LCS counted as a projectile. Oh, it does. Like the weird, the DCSS is very weird about this stuff. Like the fact that, like as far as I'm aware, GDR does not actually apply to projectiles. It does but not. You can reflect an LCS. It's yeah. a spell. It's what? like a it's like a bullet basically. Um, but you should keep you should keep ice blasting this stuff. You oh, can okay. you can keep hit all three blasting. of them. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I will do that then. Boom. Um. You could, I'm assuming I could just swing now. No, I would ice blast one more time because it's more guaranteed. Okay, and this is just because we want to avoid the damage of the um, the sorcerer guy. Mm -hmm. Is he hasted or something that I can't he, to care he about? He is. Do you see that little? Um, do you see the little sort of arrow at the top right of his uh, sprite? Yeah. And if you yeah, look, and if you look, if you hover over him, 
with the cursor, where, like the way you were doing before, it says fast, comma fast at the end of his description. Um, that means he's hasted as well. So either one of those will let you know, um, which essentially ah, is very, fast. very bad for us since he can act twice. Okay, that's cool. All right, so I, t I eat this to the face, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Because... We want to hit both. All right. Okay, now you get to swing. You're good. Thanks for the suggestion, uh, doesn't he? I, my instinct is to always teleport when I see a giant pack of uh, of, cast, of elf casters because it's just so unbelievably dangerous. But like, yeah, you can you can definitely take them down quickly with uh, stuff like ice blast instead. Okay, I've got finesse and heroism. The dragon pushes me around because he's a bully. Uh, I'm just gonna kill the cyclops because I have an unnatural fear of them. Yeah. Um, um, kill the actor. These guys are just it's popcorn. popcorn. You can just tap through them. There's an interesting question on the um, on the Twitch. SG West is asking me, uh, "Hey Malcolm, I just found a portal to the wizard's laboratory in Vaults Three. Never seen this before. Does my level 18 Minotaur Berserker want to go there?" So Wiz Labs. Um, it's like the same entry vault, right? The same portal, but if you go in, it's actually a unique um, sort of area every time. But uh, by, by unique, I mean there's like a set of them. Like there's one that's themed around the abyss. There's one that's like themed around demons. There's one that's themed around like air magic. Um, so what you should do is you should go in and then you should tell me which one you got um, because some are harder and some are easier. But no matter which one you get, you can expect it to be uh, reasonably challenging. But the thing is that, as far as I know, there isn't one where you can't just walk right back out if it turns out to be, um, like, really tough. The most fun one is, uh, by far, Fleshworks. I actually did a whiz lab at one point. Yeah, which one? One of the... Um, is uh, how unique are the layouts, because... I, I don't know how you distinguish them. So, for instance, it, there were a bunch of portals that led from, like... That's Calubria. One sectioned off. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I have... Is So they are very distinct from each other, then. Yeah. They're very um, pre-preset. I mean, there's not really any different layouts, as far as I know. Um, it's kind of right. like Tomb in that way. All right, he says he got Hall of the Hellbinder. Um... You probably don't want to be in there, uh, especially if you're a newer newer player. Um, there's a lot of extended threats in there that can torment you and, and hellfire you, and especially as a level eight, like a level eighteen, maybe could do it, but it would be obnoxious a little bit, um, and the loot is not likely to be valuable. And like like doesn't he is saying, like maybe is not going to have an easy time in there. I mean, maybe can kind of force its way through any challenge, but. At level 18, it's just, it's probably not worth it for you to give yourself the headache. I mean, you could use, like, line of sight positioning even even without being the uh, the legendary ranged Mibias, doesn't he, is saying. Oh, no, 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 no. You can you can leave SG West. Do a... <laughs> he's, he's thinking I'm trying... I jabated him? No, 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 no. Just, uh... There, there, there should be an exit nearby to where you started. You might... Magic mapping? Do you have that by any chance? If you were to post a screenshot, I could tell you which direction to go in to get to the exit. Pair of glowing boots does not interest me anymore, right? No, not not with uh, boots of the assassin. I mean, okay. in, in theory, it could be like boots of running, which would technically be better. Um, so it's like it's worth trying out, I guess. But um, boots of the assassin is so fun that it's almost uh, it's almost worth not doing the optimal thing. Because like, what's cool is if you actually get uh, decently high on stealth, you're going to be one shotting stuff as it's sleeping with uh, with your stabs. <laughs> Nice. I think I will enjoy that, but I'm not sure. Oh. One of the things is that I keep doing these ghoul fighter runs. And like the character always feels kind of similar in some ways, but then in some games it's like I'll get this like one really outlandish outlier piece and it kind of changes the flavor of the character almost. 
What changes and, the flavor? Uh, Sorry, I, you cut out for a second. What what changes the flavor of the character? Like if you get like one piece of equipment that's just super good or whatever. Sure, yeah. No, that's for sure. I don't think that boots would be really something that qualifies um, unless you were to find it really early. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that could and definitely then, have... Weapons are what usually do, do that sort of thing. Um, yeah, like the axe that uh, Daryl Snaga had. Obviously. You know, that that was actually kind of an unintentional troll, uh, which I found hilarious because he had that and he's going through Tomb with it and he had neglected to let me know that there was like a plus 10 holy axe just lying around in the dungeon and he didn't he didn't know that it was so good, but it's easily the best, pretty much the best thing you could possibly have uh, for extended, especially in Tomb. And so we're running around Tomb with the super dangerous obsidian axe and for like most of the, the coaching video. And then I just like, I, for some reason he searched for something else and I saw the holy axe. I'm like, dude, what, what's going on here? You know, because it just does so much damage comparatively, you know. Right. Well, because the, what's the damage modifier is an extra 75%? Something like that. I know That's it's, crazy. I just know it's uh, better. That's, well, it's just, I think it, I think it might be an extra 75%. 75%. Yeah, seventy five percent. So much. Whereas Vorpal is like, I think it's only like twenty five percent, and that's the one that uh, Obsidian Axe has. Six, like sixteen point basically... seven. It's like you're basically uh, doing double damage. More or less, yeah. Of the time. Yep. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't care about these. I don't think either. The Just... reflection is. Yeah, just Super kill the funny. kill the yellow guy. He's the one you. Oh yeah, he's gonna summon. Not to be I racist. Guess the Rakshasa. Well, I mean, he is yellow. It's, it's just factual. He's a very yellow sprite. I'll These say are just much. facts. Don't care about your feelings. <laughs> All right, Ben Shapiro. Um, so we got the Rakshasa. Do I care about him at all? You do, Rakshasa's but you you, you care you care more about the Convoker. I guess I just kill the Convoker. Yeah, and the Wizard after that. Because he can LCS you. And like, mm. it, it basically, kill the Rock Sasha because he's next to you, but if the wizard gets close again, focus on him. Yeah, because the LCS is quite short range, if I recall correctly. Like, here it could hit me. If, if he I even has that book, yeah. And... What happened to me? You just got hit with a with the glaive on the mighted uh, knight. It can actually do quite a bit of damage to you. Um, it might behoove you to go ahead and use the file on the... Uh, on the wizard. All right. Let us see the beauty of this file of floods. Knocks him back, does Ooh. damage, creates two uh, buddies for you. Creates a bunch of water. That too. Which you can use to your advantage um, with certain yeah, you things. Keep the other guys in the water and you want to fight out of the water. For well, the not, not the just that you can also use like, um, and this is kind of a minor benefit, but it is, it is nice. Uh, if you do it early enough, um, you can use wand of fire or wand of flame to create steam clouds. You should have been resting up by the way before. Yes. Fuck. I mean, no, you're fine, I'm but sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't want to reset my sleep cycle, yeah. so I mean, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do this while tired, then that's fine. But it's, I figure we're, we might as well finish vaults, you know? Yeah. The, the vaults I felt like was kind of the next step. It's like the, yeah. the slime and the vaults are always kind of back to back from what I understand. They're thought of in terms of similar difficulty and similar well, um, um, periods of when you do them in the game. Yes and no. Like you kind of tackle them almost adjacent. I would say that vaults 1 through 4 and vaults 5 are two entirely different beasts. Um, so in a way it's more like slime is comparable to vaults 5. Um, because like vaults 1 through 4 is just like, it's just so different. Like the threat level is lower, you know. The tactics gotcha. are... I mean, I don't know. Some It's just funny because some of the devs of this game have these really kind of silly opinions about how vaults is supposed to be easier than slime and that like you supposedly don't need to be spoiled from the game to uh to beat vaults five and they're like oh it's like you use the same tactics in vaults five that you use everywhere else and it seems like such total nonsense to me because vaults five is like the only place in the game as far as i know that um sort of forces you to to do so many wacky things to survive um i mean you go in you can't really leave easily um, you can st you can stare dance a little bit, but eventually you get punished for doing that. 
uh, you have to use a lot of unique strategies actually to to win against Vaults Five because you have to you can teleport, you could like hatch down. Um, I mean, all the staircases are guaranteed to be in the same spot, right? Except for hatches, so you're sort of forced to go back to that spot if you want to go back up. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff about it. So it's like I would say that Vaults Five actually has more um, complicated uh, strategies involved than than Slime. I saw you got shafted, by the way. Yep. It's okay. We're we're fine. Um yeah, I uh if I were presented with anything that called for um called for the brown pants, I think I would have screamed. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Um yeah, we've got a scroll of teleportation that I'm assuming we just buy automatically. Mhm. Mm um and then do we want the wand of acid? Probably. I thought it was like always good or yep. something. I mean, it's it's um, quite nice. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, do we we have plenty of wand of digging, so I don't need that right now. Yeah, don't bother about that. About it. Yeah. Did we ever okay. get that lightning rod? By the way. Oh uh, no, I didn't take a. I didn't make a pit stop. I I was clearing out the floor that I think that we discussed it on when I got shafted. Boom. I, maybe I might have went. See huh? that? Do you see that stab? Oh no, I didn't. Control, actually. Control P and C. There's your, there's your fist stab. Look at all those exclamation points. Gotcha. Yeah, because that's how the game tells the player that you've done more damage. I know that's cute, right? It's yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely abstract. Yeah. Any of your ability to actually yeah tell tell what's going on extract useful information from the game right because why would you ever desire accurate feedback <laughs> i know I, right i just tasted infinite or i just uh heroism and finessed because i don't know what this guy does he's dangerous um he can lcs you crystal, crystal spear what is it with all these guys with crystal LCS? spear yes you should uh yeah. lamp you should lamp him if you have it all right let's check for a lamp i have a lamp i should lamp him mm -hmm. there's so many guys in a row down here i know but i want him right. to, i really want him dead like, for him to okay. die fast is extremely important. I could Wand of Acid. <laughs> you could. I just bought it. Is that, is that the best thing to do, or did I bait you? What's the... No, no, no. That's, I mean, it's you would apply a debuff. It wouldn't be a bad thing to do. You could do that. You can corrode him, right? Yeah. And, and then, then I can attack him. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm understanding okay. the decision. He got, he got a very he good got crystal spear on you for quite a Sweet. lot of damage. Um, so now I could die because if him and the other guy directly behind me hit me f at the same time with really good rolls. Let's um, let's see, three D thirty seven. That's um, ninety seven. Yeah, like one hundred and five plus thirty six plus one hundred and eleven damage. Um, yeah, they could definitely kill me if they both roll awesome. Yes. Um, I wish we had a silence scroll that would really um help this situation. Uh, is there a move that I can make that doesn't? Does, he's a vampire, right? He looks like a vampire. He is. Can I just holy word him? It won't guarantee What's that up? you won't get wrecked here. Um, personally, if it was me, I would probably drink a heal wounds here just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Because you have five, and you're not okay. that'll that'll make it so you're guaranteed to survive. And yeah, you shouldn't holy word because you're a ghoul. Oh. So you're effectively going right. to you're, you're going to torment yourself if you do that. No, dude. Real ghouls, holy word. Well, there are such. Believe it or not, there are situations where you'd holy word as a as an where undead. Where it definitely comes. I'm thinking it. of like maybe you're like Machleb and you're surrounded by undead or demons or something, and then you do that to get a bunch of hit points back. Like that could be completely worth it. Anyway, right. I I want you to break this church down for me, but real quick, I'm gonna leave and call you back because I'm getting a lot of clipping in your speech. Okay, so. sure. But. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Can you hear me? Try to describe to me what I'm supposed to do to this Jory guy. You're supposed to die horribly to Jory now. Um, oh man. No, he is a bit dangerous. Uh, I'm trying to think so, of. I mean, like the thing is, there's a lot of options available to us. Like we could net him, but he can still cast out of it. Um, gotcha. We could. Do I summon a guy and try to switch places with my guy? No, you can't really summon anything in this situation. You're surrounded. 
Um, but the thing is, we have we have an out. We, we actually do have an out, which is like blinking to the top and left. The only problem is that like if he were to if he were to get a really good LCS on us, and then we were to get hit by the Vault Warden, and we were to get hit by the Fire Giant at the same time, we actually could still die, technically. Um, I almost want us to be hasted. Like, this is a worse situation than it looks like. Um, and I'm not, ah, I'm not usually super... Usually you're saying the opposite of that. I'm not super happy about... Yeah, I mean, the fact is, like, death is, is an option here. Um, honestly, the, the absolute, like, 100% safest thing to do here is to blink out. Blink. Um... If you would like to play like slightly riskier than that and conserve the resource, I mean, nine times out of ten in this situation, if we just swing on Jory, he dies. Um, or if we were to like net him and then swing on him, he dies. Uh, Dude, my with my luck, he kicks my ass every time. Well, the pro well before we blink, we should think about exactly how we're gonna um, deal with it. Uh, I guess we would blink and then we would like teleport. If we wanted to be again 100% uh, safe with this, I'll leave it to you. Um, so I've given you I've given you the the absolute safest option, and I've given you the option that will probably work. Um, noise blinking summoning. I'm just like looking at stuff now. It's got me thinking about it. Sure. I just heal wounds again. <laughs> See, like, See if he that's LCS me. the only issue with that is, like, at that point, you're sort of playing chicken with the RNG. Um, well, not exactly, because I think that would that would probably guarantee you can't die next turn. Um, but it's like it could it could just be like a wasted turn and you could just be wasting. Resources. I mean, if I if I blink, I'm gone. Yeah, like, you're I'm not gone before they get a turn. Yes. Um, that's and then, the guarantee. I safety. really need to tell you, can't I just like if I blink to the top left corner? Can't I just move to the southwest and then exit, abscond through the door over there, the left door? Do you do you really mm. want to try to escape into an unknown area that clearly has a, a guy inside of it that you're sensing no, the, from your the, boots? So hold on a second. Let me let me just show you what I'm trying to okay. describe here. Okay. So if I go ahead and use the scroll of blank, right? Sure. Wouldn't I blank like here? Mm -hmm. And then I would just move this way. Okay. And then move out here. I've okay. explored this area. Okay, but then then what are you gonna do? Well, I shut the door. Okay, and then and then what? Does the the guy can't cast on me at that point, right? Okay, but what what are you gonna do after that? Um, because they follow do I you. Not have. Oh, I got shafted, didn't I? There's just yeah. nothing here. There's nowhere to. There's nowhere to run, really. Um, do I do I summon stuff? You and could then have you it, could like, um, the door? that's something you could you could blink and then instead of teleporting you could use a bunch of um, sacks of spiders to deal with the problem and that that would probably be fine. Is that relatively optimal? Should I just blow the TP? What do you think? If it was TP me, could just land me into the middle of mobs again, right? Yes, it could. Um, if it was me. I would be kind of torn between it. Um, I think what I would probably do is I would start by blinking. Uh, let me let me see your enslaved percentage on this fire giant. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get an enslavement going on. Thirty percent. That's not 30%. great. Personally, I'd open up with the blink. Percent on the vault. Yeah, yeah. It's, they have less MR, um, but we don't want to do that. Um, I would start by blinking to get a better position, probably. Okay, so we want to blink, and we're both agreed that we blink here. Mm -hmm. Boom. And by the way, this is—I really wish we had that lightning rod, my friend, <laughs> because this would be a good place for uh, it. I, I didn't know to just stop after the fight. I think I think I might have even pushed it one more floor by accident. Uh, it's a lot of things to think about. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, it's okay. Uh, let's. Uh... We want to get through that door, or is that too risky? One, one second. It's not really risky. Um, I was just thinking I want to vuln, but I actually don't, because I can, we can get mesmerized. Um, I'd like to start enslaving things is the thing, because it would make this situation a lot. It would simplify things. If we can keep... Hold on. If we can keep the giant between us and the and Jory, we could just acid blast him to death, I guess. Why don't you just... Drink an agility for me. Okay. And this agility is going to protect me from the... Um, Everything, the basically. 
I mean, it's going to protect you from even LCS. I mean, it won't guarantee anything, but it'll it'll stack the odds in our favor a little bit. All right. Um, now let's uh, let's see if we acid if we acid it won't actually hit Jory if it hits the two in front. Let's um let's read let's read emulate. And I think that we're, what we'll try to do is we'll try to take out Jory this way. Um, swing, swing on the Fire Giant real quick. Maybe, um, how much might do we have? Do we have a might potion by any chance? Um, I think we do. No, we actually don't. That's, that's okay. Just like swing once on the, on the Giant. And again, like we're totally safe in this position, by the way. That's okay. Drink, um, drink, a, drink a Heal Wounds. I just want to make sure we stay reasonably well above 111 in case Jory uh, ends up Somehow next to us. Somehow gets into an adjacent square. Well, he, he will before right. too long. Let's let's acid now. Um, okay. So with any luck, ahead. it'll miss one of them, and I think it'll hit Jory. Okay, we hit Jory. Very good. Let's do that again. Okay, good. We've killed everything except for Jory. Jory is a dickhead, uh, and so he drinks a healing potion, but that's okay. Um, let's let's acid him one more time. The LCS cannot kill me here. Right. Um, let's. Oh, our heroism ran He's out. He's in fire too. That's fine. Um, I want to. I want Go to acid, or I want to ice blast him, because it's guaranteed damage, and he's almost okay. dead. Perfect. Okay, good. Jory is dead. That saved us a teleport. That was, in fact, um, that was good that we spent a little more time thinking about that than just knee-jerk teleporting. Teleporting is really the... It's a super safe option. I'm no, 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 it's a super, it's a super unsafe option is the thing. So it's like, but the thing about teleporting is a lot of people do it when they're at like two hit points and that's when it's real stupid to use. Like teleport is an option that I, my whole philosophy behind it is I use it when I'm at high hit points when I recognize that a situation is bad um, and I want to conserve my more reliable escape tools. Um, but in that, that situation was bad enough that uh, um, we probably wanted to spend or do, do other things if possible just because like you have to take into account stuff like how explored is the floor and we got shafted and the floor is not explored at all so we could easily end up... Gotcha. Well, I mean, and also we could also just end up next to Jory again because teleport's so unreliable. So, well, I so if I'm gathering this correctly, and I were to reiterate and try to condense it down into a lesson, something a little more articulate, I am learning. Um, well, no, just a lesson from the perspective of someone who takes it as a lesson, because mm. like you're formulating it as a strategy, mm -hmm. trickled down from somebody with years of experience playing the game who sure. plays it at a, like a grandmaster level. Mm. I'm just fucking learning. Okay. Fair so enough. the the idea here is that teleports are a reset with an element of controlled randomness, and your job is to assess how favorable the controlled randomness is yes. for you at that moment. Yes, with the understanding that that, that randomness can dump you into um, just as bad, if not worse, of a situation, so you need to be able to handle that. So it's like it's it's something you do with a full tank of gas, not with an empty one, you know, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Gotcha. It does make sense. Okay. Um, I mean, ideally speaking, there are situations where you're going to have to just hail Mary it, but like, that's uh, usually not where you want to be if you can avoid it. Oops. I know that I'm supposed to kill that ogre first, the or the mage. Okay, so the shining eye. I'm actually going to move down and close this door. That's smart. Okay. Sweet. He's a shapeshifter. That is what so. I like to hear. Oh. Just kill him. It's fine. Okay. Um. They heal when they shapeshift, so this might be slightly annoying. But unless he turns uh, into very particular things, you just don't care. Gotcha. My favorite... Uh, asshole shapeshifter move is when they turn into a floating eye and then paralyze you and then turn into something much more dangerous. 
That's that's always cute. That seems. Have you run into that? I've seen it. Uh, I don't know if that's ever gotten me because I will. I mean, floating eyes are actually pretty fragile, so you can you can kill them quickly. But um, entropy weaver, entropy weaver. It's okay. Just you can just have him. I know that I can now, but he's still. Look at I have minus eight corrosion. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's still hard to kill. Yeah, I mean, if if they if they just open up with a couple corrosions, then you've got a problem. But God, they're they're my least favorite mob. To fight. I just I think, I, it's like I think it's dumb that they show up in lair or in early dungeon even. Yeah, that's oh man, and with those with the um the worker okay, ants. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's let's be happened? let's be careful about not hanging out next to this um. This noise trap, the noise trap, yeah, because we'll get marked, and that happens even if he walks into it. Ah, okay. I was trying to find a way around mm -hmm. to like get to his back or whatever, but it doesn't look like there. Well, is what one. you could do is you could um, stay out of line of sight of the trap, and then you could shout yeah. perhaps to wake him up, and it'll make a noise, but it won't mark you as long as you can't oh, see it. Okay, I. It hadn't occurred to me that it could possibly work that way. Yeah, it's very unintuitive. Traps are dumb. All right, so uh, I think actually what I'm going to do real quick, since we have been dying to do this. Oh, no, I still don't actually have a um, Tinga Reaver. Those are big, right? Uh, think of it like a Deep Elf Annihilator. Okay. Okay, you're marked. Um, it's okay. I'm most of the floor is down at this point. Am I... In the line of sight of that trap? No, you just got my... It was an entirely different trap. Um, I'm, oh. I'm going to go on a big rant about Eberring's new trap system if we're not careful. So <laughs> it's, it's, gotcha. really, it's really, really dumb. Let me just put it that way. Because it's like, I, when I was coaching uh, Waifu Gate and we're in Tomb, he got marked like three times on Tomb 1. Hello. Fatal error. Uh-oh. Right error while saving success. Hit any key to exit. Oh, I have not seen this before. Control P for full log. Uh, unfortunately, your game terminated due to an error. Flagrant error? No. Well, I'm sure your game's no. fine. Just restart. Like, Are you sure, sure? I mean, I've never seen somebody's save file get corrupted before. I mean, I guess it's possible. Are you playing Trunk? Um, I don't think I was. I think I was playing 0.23 latest version. I'm almost certain. Well, let's um, I'm, let's load up again. I'm I'm trying. I'm clicking. Is the, it not letting you? You want to? If here, uh, I'm actually going to share screen with you over Discord real quick so you can see what's going on on my end. Okay. So we've got this, and I just click this. Oops, not not that. Stop. This. I keep clicking this. Nothing is happening. Bro. Nothing going on. Try clicking trunk. Let me see what happens. Do we still have nothing? I don't understand. Let me uh, refresh refresh the page for me. Sorry, Twitch people, that you All can't right, see um, this, but... Isn't there a... Uh... Sounds like a brick save. Well, no, no, doesn't he? Because he can't... Um... He can't seem to load up trunk or point two two or anything. Like try clicking point two two. Um. All right. We got nothing. Yeah. yeah he's like. He's like. To, it's trying. He's like clicking the um, you know, the DCSS zero point two two, and then just nothing is happening. Is it look What's like it's the, um? There's like a control f, like a control function key that flushes the like f5. flushes the page. Control right? f five. Control f five. Yeah. All right. Let's try that then. See if that helps at all. Um, nope, nothing. What the crap, man? <laughs> Let me, um... Can I spectate somebody? I was about to say I that. I can spectate somebody else. What is the matter? Reboot browser, maybe? Yeah, like, close your entire browser and see. I'm choosing, I'm choosing to believe everything. that Gamma Funk saw that I was streaming and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and deleted your I mean I don't know if he has access to Barotato this is just a joke obviously but like <laughs> it's no, I mean, kind of a funny idea really it's a campaign well you well tyranny over the 
over the wide spreads of DCSS communities. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to see what Spectrina is doing here. She's uh, she's in the sewer. I don't know who this person right. is. I'm assuming it's a girl. Oh, man. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to work at all. Well, welcome to coaching Spectrina. She's not on stream, but uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We'll just we'll just get a little insight and analysis going on. Um, well, she's she's not really doing much. She's just chilling out in the swamp, so or in the in the sewer. So it looks like that won't be too entertaining. So you're saying crazy, it's man. it's doing the same thing to you? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Go um, to um, go okay. to see if it's happening on other servers like Kelby or whatever. Uh, all right. How do I do that? I go uh, Kelby DCSS. Um, it's like crawl.kelby.org, K E L B I. K A L B I? K E L B I. Ah. Dot org. All right, let's, let's check it out. We'll see. Okay, so game currently playing. I need to actually like log in. Okay, logged in as WS The Fleur. How do I latest version 0.23? I mean, just see if it loads like, up for you. I'm just trying to figure out if it's, it's like a browser. Loaded. Yeah, loaded. Then What's I guess happening? you're say you're. I mean, what's strange to me is the fact that on Veritato you can't load up anything. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, no. Not just like point two three, but any game. You're gonna need to talk to John Steen. I who's think. that? I don't, I don't even know who that individual he is. He runs uh, Veritato. Let me. I don't have his uh, Discord anymore. I used I used to. No. Well, that's I, the um, is... that's the end of the stream for today. I don't think that you're. Um... Yeah. Oh, doesn't he says it's a Cebro problem? I can't start a game either. Well, I guess I could easily. Um... Oh, yeah, I can't do it either. Okay. Well, that. Oh, okay. That solves so everything. It, it will probably I know, come back up. So th I know what's we happening. We mandated the end of our stream. I have I have like a ninety nine percent. I'm sure of what what's going on here, and I I suspect. That Seabro, no, no. <laughs> I, I suspect that Seabro just ran out of uh, disk space again. Because I've seen this before where it's like uh, people are playing and they aren't necessarily kicked out of their games, not all of them anyway, but new people cannot uh, make their own uh, new, new games. And it's just, it's just there's not enough disk space because if you think about Dungeon Crawl, you're constantly adding these text files, these log files to the server. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually... You're gonna fill up the space, so R so R I P stream. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they like archive it or if they just allocate more space to the um, to the vir I assume it's a virtual machine that's running the server. I don't really know, um, but in any case, they they need more space one way or the other. So. Um, gotcha. Right. Well, that's that's a bit sad because I was I had I had made up my mind and. Um, mustered my resolve to make it to the end of vaults despite being quite tired well um you know what's bummer. what's going to disappoint you and be even more of a bummer for you is that um when when games crash that way and doesn't doesn't he said this and i'm pretty sure he's right uh i think you're going to be replaced like where you came in from the shaft and jory's going to be alive again <laughs> but awesome. hey you'll know that he's hey, you'll know that he's less there. bad than losing the whole run that's true yeah yeah no your save is fine um very. I like those boots. Yeah, very unlikely that pressing. there's a problem with your save. You'll you'll be okay. Just have to wait for John Steen to fix it. Um, Sweet. So if it's something that happens and occasionally, um, and it will and it will come back, then that's not that that's not that bad. We just need to couch the stream for a for a single day, or whatever. Yep. We can do this. We pick this back up whenever you whenever you want to. Uh, Sure. Yeah, just hit me up. I'll, I'll hit you up. Um, this has unfortunately created some uh, video, some extra video editing work for me <laughs> with the with the bug, but that's otherwise Shouldn't cool. Be too bad. Nah, it's fine. Um, all right, cool. Well, Twitch people, thank you for um, stopping in. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stream, or I'm gonna stop the recording. Um, but yeah, SG West, I can answer your questions real quick. Um, but yeah, until next time, I am signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support.
At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.